Odd jobs, odd bods. Odd jobs, odd bods. Odd jobs versus odd bods. Have you heard anything about this? This is a crazy story. A guy in California designs these cute little monster characters called odd jobs. Summer of 2012. He puts up a website, pitches the show to all the big studios in Burbank. He goes to Hong Kong, late fall of 2012. He has some toy prototypes made, comes back to the United States, does some retooling of the designs, makes a short animatic, pitches the show around town again and everyone passes on it. But he keeps plugging away at it in his spare time. A couple years go by, he gets a call from his brother. Hey, have you seen Oddbots? It's on the Disney Channel. Go watch it right now. Someone stole your idea. It's unbelievable. His show is being made by someone else. The characters are slightly different, but the similarities are undeniable. The name of the show? This can't be a coincidence. He's been ripped off. He starts looking around. He searches the internet. He finds out that Oddbods launched on an app in Hong Kong. In February 2013, just a couple months after he had been to Hong Kong, showing his toy designs to toy manufacturers. In his research, he finds a few months after this property launched on an app in Hong Kong, it's become the centerpiece of a brand new animation studio in Singapore called Animation One. And over the next couple of years, Oddbods becomes the biggest show in Asia and parts of Europe. It's garnering all sorts of praise, collecting awards and being heralded as the next big money maker said to be bringing in money along the lines of Spongebob or a Simpsons. Toys are being made as the Oddbods cartoon is moving into the United States via Disney and Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. This guy is devastated. And then on top of that, not only has he been ripped off, but now his own show idea, Odd Jobs, is completely useless. His toys cannot be released. People are gonna think that he's the one ripping off Oddbods. If he gets on the market, if his toys hit the market, when they see his stuff, they're gonna say, you're a thief. He might even end up getting sued. So he has to go and find out if he's got proof that he's the one who came up with this first. He goes through the credits on the cartoons and he gets the names of all the animators that worked in it, all the designers, the writers, the creator of the show, and does all this research and it appears that he has proof that he came up with it first. So he goes and he finds a lawyer and he tells the story. The lawyer's convinced that he's been ripped off. There's no doubt in the lawyer's mind that this is a case of copyright infringement. He asks this guy, John, if he can come up with any cash to go after them and he says he can't. So the lawyer talks to his partner and they decide that they're gonna put up the money. They're gonna put up $100,000 or, or up to $100,000 to take this to court. Now, just to be extra careful, John locks himself away for an entire weekend and plays detective and starts really going over the evidence with a fine tooth comb. He, he goes back over the names of all the people in the credits in the Odd Bods cartoon and he starts checking their social media posts, their LinkedIn account posts, their resumes that are posted online and he discovers at the last possible moment that an artist in Germany posted on his Facebook account that he was going to Singapore to work on a new cartoon called Oddbods just one week before John Kenyon showed anybody his idea. Oddbods was just going into production. So what this means is that two people came up with the same exact idea that they they came up with ideas that were so similar on opposite sides of the planet one guy's in california the other guy's in Hong kong sometimes you come up with a great idea and you're ahead of the curve and you you know it's a race for who has the best idea who comes up with the idea the soonest and who can bring it to market but sometimes you just can't win so that's the story of Odd Jobs vs. Odd Bods.